Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. Do you think about how much your hot water costs you? Probably not, but we use hot water every day for showers, laundry, dishes, and it adds up. In fact, the average home's water heating cost is $200 each year. But to save money and protect the earth, some people are choosing an alternative way to heat their water with solar water heaters. And joining us today is Sean Young with H&H &H Solar Energy Services. And in fact, Sean has just finished installing a solar water heating system and we're up on the roof. And Sean, first, how does a solar water heater work? That's a great question, Pete. Uh, you've got four main components. You've got the solar collector, you've got a solar storage tank, you've got a solar control, and you've also got a solar heat exchanger. Okay, so we're up on the roof. Show us then how that, that works then. Well, again, you've got the solar collector and absorber here. You've got a, a racking system here that holds the equipment off of the roof, generally at about a 55, 50 degree angle so that you can maximize your performance in the winter months when the sun is lower in the sky. You're gonna attach this directly to the roof trusses with some conventional lag bolts. And then in the rear here, you can see we've got some piping that delivers the energy into the building through a flashing and down into the basement. So uh, those are pretty much what you would see on the roof is what you've got here. And then you said the energy goes down and that actually is how we, we heat the water, correct? That's right, through the heat exchanger, there's a non-toxic uh, heat transfer fluid that circulates through there with a pump um, and that then delivers the energy into your storage tank, which then delivers it to your water heater and out of your faucet. Now we see, the, Sean, the tubes here, but this isn't the only type of system when we talk about uh, solar panels. Right? That's right. This is, panels. Th this is a newer technology called an evacuated tube system. This has got uh, the chance to reach a little higher temperatures. They also make a, a flat plate collector. Cloudy days. What about cloudy days? Yeah, well, we're at one here today, and what you're going to see is it's the system performance will drop off a little bit, but you'll still get uh, a good heat coming from them. So this system today here on a mostly cloudy day is about 110 degrees in the storage tank. Um, so pretty much the proportion of cloudiness is going to be the amount of energy loss. So if, uh, say, it's 70 percent cloudy, well, you're still probably going to get 30 percent of the potential energy from there. But they work very well in cloudy days or in cold days. Actually, some, some of the sunniest days are in the middle of winter when it's 20 degrees outside, but it's clear as, as can be. Sean, how much energy can we save with a solar water heating system? A typical residential system is going to save you roughly 70 percent of your annual hot water needs. Okay. What about uh, maintenance for a system like this? Oh, another good question. A well-designed system really is maintenance-free. There's only a couple of moving parts in the system, the circulating pump and then the heat transfer fluid that is flowing through the pipes again and through the panels um, should be inspected every, every 10 to 15 years to make sure that you've still got it protected from freezing up here in the northern part of the country. So Sean, really, I mean, this could last as long, I mean, if you had a roof, it could go infinite? Well, it could go infinite. You're probably going to have to do some maintenance to the roof itself, but I would say you're probably in the 40 plus year range. Definitely longer than the shingles themselves, uh, longer than a lot of the other things on, there, on your home. No doubt about it. Well, Sean, thanks for sharing this information about a solar water heating system. Again, I know it's an investment, but we're really talking about, again, saving a great deal of energy and saving money. Yeah, it's a win-win for everybody. Solar makes sense for the community, for your own home, uh, for the environment. So no doubt about it. This can be applied to any home you see here in this community. This is a very modest sized home, modest sized family. They've been able to go with it and it's probably paid for itself already. Sean, thanks. You betcha, Pete. Thank you.